Greetings. Today we're going to talk about kinetic energy, which is the energy of motion. The equation for kinetic energy is Ke equals one half mv squared, or it's a little sing song. Ke equals one half mv squared. Try to remember it if you put a little tone to it. So we have an equation that says that one half times the mass, which is in kilograms and a velocity, which is a squared term, which means it's meters per second times meters per second. So the, I'm going to do a couple of problems out of Holtz Science Spectrum, page 301. In problem 1A, we need to calculate the kinetic energy in joules for a car that is going at 39 meters per second. So what are we given here? So we have a car. It's moving along, and it's going forward at 29 meters per second. So this is its velocity. We also know that this car has a mass of 1,500 kilograms. We also know that kinetic energy is equal to 1 half m v squared, and energy is always in the terms of joules, and the joules, the units of joules, is actually kilograms meters squared per second squared. So you can see we have kilograms from the mass, and meters squared per second squared is from the velocity being squared. What is it we want to find? So kinetic energy is equal to one half m v squared. It's a general equation. Is our mass in kilograms? Yes, it is. Check. Is the velocity in meters per second? Yes, it is. So we can check off that. We are in the correct units to get the joules. Therefore, let's go ahead and plug in. So equals to one half times the mass, 1,500 kilograms times, and the velocity in this case is 29 meters per second times 29 meters per second. That's what the velocity square means up here. So our next step is put the numbers together, the 2, the 15, the 29, and the 29. So 1, 5, 0, 0 times 29 times 29 divided by 2 for the 1 half and multiplied by and now we do the units kilograms meter squared meter squared so kilogram meters per second times meters per second okay so our next step is to take these numbers put them into a calculator and we're going to come up with 6000 300, 750, and this whole quantity right here is kilograms, kilograms, meters per second times meters is meter squared per second squared. That's the same as a joule, since we have that already defined over in this part over here. Now in the beginning, let's go on to the back of the beginning. We have one, two significant digits in one of the measures two significant digits in another measure. So we're allowed two sig figs in our final answer down at the bottom. So we need to re round up, or round down in this case. So 630, that removes all of these zeros, joules. So 630,000, nobody likes to see that many zeros. So we want to be very specific that we have two digits. So we put that in scientific notation, 6.3 times 10 to the Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 10 to the 5th joules as our final answer to this question. In our next problem, we have the same car, which is 1,500 kilograms, going at 42 kilometers per hour. So here we have a car coming along. I always like to draw a little picture just to have visualize what we're thinking about. And it's going forward. It has a mass, this is mass, 
and so speed. But this speed or velocity, we don't know the direction, so it could be either, at 42 kilometers per hour. We really need to convert that over into meters per second. So how are we going to do that? So first off, we have to multiply the kilometers down here and meters up here. We have a conversion factor that has to equal 1. So how do we do that? 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer, and this is times 1. We also need to change over hours, put hours in the top. We need to get to be able to cancel it from down here, put it on top, and we want to change over to seconds. Well, how many seconds are there in an hour? Well, there's 30, 60 seconds in a minute and 60 minutes in an hour. So there's 3,600 seconds in one hour. Okay, so now we can cancel hours. We can cancel kilometers. And we end up with meters per second. So let's go ahead and combine what we have left. We have 42 times 1,000 meters divided by 3,600 seconds. So if we put this in a calculator, we end up with 1.1666 meters per second. What is it we want to find? Kinetic energy. And that is equal to 1 half mv squared. So now we have mass in kilograms. We have velocity in meters per second. We can proceed and plug in. So 1 half times the mass, 1500 zero, zero kilograms. And the velocity is now 1.1, 1 .1, and we'll just put a line over the 6 here, meters per second, and put a parentheses around that. You want to do this again. And so it's 1.16, 1 line over the top, meters per second because this is velocity squared. So next step is put the numbers together and put the units together. So 1500 zero, zero, times 1.16 1 times 1.16 1 all divided by 2. And on this side we have kilograms, meters, and then meters times meters on top over seconds times seconds on the bottom. And we put these into a calculator, and what do we come up with? 1020.71667. And this quantity in here is kilograms meters squared per second squared. And we recognize this immediately as a joule. Now this number that we have here, this measure, is, is it got too many digits on it, so we need to change that over. We've got to round it. What can we round to? Okay, so we have one, two digits, and one of the measures to start with. We have another measure of 42. Okay, that's two digits, so we're allowed to have two sig figs in the final answer at the end. So we've got to round. So first thing we need to round, so that's a one, zero, one thousand, and put a decimal point there, 71667, all gets kind of crossed out, even the 2 gets crossed out, all that gets crossed out, and just 1,000. But we really don't have a decimal. We only have 1, 2 sig figs. So saying 1,000, eh, that's not being, we're, we're, that's way too precise. So we've got to kind of back off a little bit and only give it two significant figures, and we have to use scientific notation for that. 1.0 times 10, because we have two sig figs, we can say that in the answer, times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, times 10 to the 3 joules as our final answer. Okay, We're given that a bowling ball, let's put an L in there, a bowling ball traveling at 2 meters per second, and it has 16 joules of kinetic energy, and we need to find the mass in kilograms. Okay, so what do we want to find? Mass in kilograms. Okay, so that's good. 
And what do we have? We have the kinetic energy equals 16 joules, which is the same as 16 kilograms meters squared per second squared, since we directly translate the joules into the correct units, kilograms meters squared per second squared. We also know that the velocity is equal to 2 meters per second. We also have the equation Ke equals 1 half mv squared. Okay, we're not looking for kinetic energy. We're looking for mass in this time over here. So therefore, we need to change this equation around. So how do we do that? Get mass on one side. So we go ahead and divide by the same thing on both sides. Divide by 1 half and divide by v squared. So 1 half v squared on both sides. And that way, the 1 half cancels, the v squared cancels, and I'm left with mass. So rewriting this, mass is equal to kinetic energy. And since we're dividing by 1 half, that's the same as multiplying by 2. So kinetic energy over v squared. So 2 times kinetic energy over v squared is the equation we can use. So mass in kilograms, mass is equal to 2 times the kinetic energy divided by v squared. So that we have a good start. And all of our units in our givens, we have joules as a given and meters per second. So we have everything in the scientific units that we need. So let's continue on. We can just go ahead and now plug in. So 2 times, and we'll use the 16 kilograms meters squared per second squared on the top. And all divided by velocity, which is 2 meters per second. And since this is a squared term down here, let's go ahead and just multiply it 2 meters per second, since that's what squared means, multiply twice. Okay, so now we can start simplifying. So let's put all the numbers together. 2 times 16 divided by 2 times 2. And up on this side, we have kilograms meters squared per second squared. And at the bottom here, we have, again, meters times meters is meters squared. Seconds times seconds is seconds squared. Oh, we have some canceling we can do. Meters squared per second squared, meters squared per second squared, they cancel out, leaving us with the kilograms. So our next step, okay, you just take these numbers, of course, 2 divided by 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8, but on the calculator, that's going to say 8 or even 8.00000, okay, and those are all in kilograms. But what do we have to start with? One sig fig up here in the 2, two sig figs in the 16, so we're only allowed one sig fig in the final answer down here. So when we say 8, even though the calculator may say 0 0.8000 or just plain 8, we can only give one sig fig 8 kilograms as our final answer.